Michael Cohen joins us now from Johannesburg. Mike, first of all, can he really reform? He had a very slim majority when the voting happened yesterday. So how much power does he have to actually reform the ANC and, and therefore the South African economy later on? Hi, Francine. I think it is going to be difficult for him. Besides that very narrow margin of victory, his allies only secured two of the other top six posts in the ANC. So he's going to have to strike some very hard bargains um, to get what he wants. It's not going to be, it would have been much easier for him had he got a, his whole slate in there. Um, not going to be an easy task. Okay, but he has the support of the markets, right? The RAND actually moved quite significantly on the back of this. Yeah, it's, uh, he, he was clearly the investor's favorite, favorite. They are looking forward to the reforms that he's promised in this 10-point plan for reviving the economy. Um, the market was actually anticipating his wins, so it moved up quite sharply on, on Friday and some more gains yesterday. It's uh, fairly flat today. Um, clearly, the markets do like him there, and, and it's good news for, for the economy. There is a brutal chart out there today, uh, Michael, of the falling of South Africa versus all of sub-Saharan Africa. South Africa has just fallen behind in growth amid all this turmoil. How do, is there any desire by the public for a new regime, a new government that can jumpstart South Africa back to the excellence it once knew? The ANC is still very much the dominant party here. I mean, they've won more than half the vote in every election since 1994, largely thanks to the credit they still, still gain from having led the fight against apartheid and the fact that they've provided welfare grants to almost a third of the population. That said, their, their, their dominance is being eroded. We saw their support slip to the lowest level ever in last year's municipal elections, and they lost control of several major towns. So clearly a party on a downward slide, and I think they are worried about that. It was highlighted by the outgoing Secretary General, Gwedi Montash, that that majority is now at risk.